should have been concerned. We felt the humans were a species of disunity, capable only of casting rocks at themselves and squabbling over their hierarchies of divinity. Their history was potmarked of crusade after jihad after crusade, after exodus after insurrection of zealots of a thousand names doing just that, casting stones at those that disagreed. Where other species rose as one, humans were fragmented into thousands of arbitrary segregations. We should have been concerned. Humanity cast itself from its biosphere into what they felt was a void. Their technology was primitive, bound to a rough three dimensions. The fourth was the limiter of their perception. We existed in the fourth and fifth, and made no passes at the sith as that was our limit. We knew our limit, and we respected it as such. The humans did not seem to believe in limits. They treated them as obstacles, merely transient, arbitrary concepts. They drew hard lines between the existent and subsistent, and paid no respect to the subsistent outside their ambitions. Their senses and view of energies was pathetically limited. They had no conception of gravity beyond what its effect was on their limited dimensions, pulling objects of three dimensions towards other objects of three dimensions relative to their massesness, which was a product, again, of matter existing in only three dimensions. When they freed themselves from what they saw as gravity's hold on their biosphere and began planting themselves elsewhere in what they saw as their solar system, we felt we had to stop them. They did not see the slow death of their relevant third dimension of planet as a limit. Like the other species, we felt they should accept this limit and die. We destroyed their colonies and some thousands of colony ships, taking with them much of their species and sent them a simple message in the language they could decode. We exist in the Gravitech, which you do not understand. We are part of a higher set of dimensions, which you do not understand. We are alone in this paradigm. Only we understand. Planetary species are meant for their own planets. This is where you evolved and where you will cease to evolve in your death. You do not understand this. You are an anomalous species that does not submit to the bounds of your dimensions. Cease your attempts at colonization. Adapt biologically to your biosphere, or die with the other species of your dimensions. Your ships are insignificant to wage war on us. Your weapons are fit only for three-dimensional creatures such as your own selves. Understand that you are limited. We deign to intersect with your dimensions only at 192 196-199-000. You may communicate with us there if you would like to understand the proper dogma of this paradigm. You are a species of disunity that can only throw rocks. Accept this. You cannot throw a rock big enough to disrupt our enforcement of the dogma. We attempted to communicate in the tone of the rulers of their divine hierarchies. We felt this would appropriately command them. What we fail to understand is that we fail to understand three dimensions as much as they fail to understand five. We waited. We expected no response, or if anything, perhaps a deployment of hastily cobbled warships. Such was the fantasy of their culture. They idolized their species. Instead, they began launching more colony ships, modified but unarmed, into their planet's orbit. We permitted this. We should have been concerned. They landed on their own moon, still a part of their planet. We permitted this. We should have been concerned. They colonized it, adapted their culture to it, and moved the entirety of their species onto it. We permitted all of this as proper actions of a species entering its twilight, when we should have been concerned. We determined after the fact that the armories of the nations of humanity had been combined into a single charge and detonated. Their planet's moon, with them upon it, rode the blast into a comfortable orbit near a resource-rich asteroid. Their devastated biosphere was propelled towards our point of intersection. We exist in the Gravitech. The mass of the planet will disrupt our intersection with the lower dimensions and leave us blinded and powerless to stop humanity or any other lower species from treating their limits as obstacles. They do not understand the dogma of the paradigm and that this is how it simply must be. We should have been concerned. We were naive, and as consequence, we have lost three dimensions. 
we received a single electromagnetic signal from their lunar arc shortly after the detonation of their charge. We have our own dogmas and don't want yours. Humanity, united, thinks this should be a big enough rock.